but yeah, it's like the difference between renting and owning, right? You know, confidence is something you rent, something you have to pump up on a daily basis, right? You're, you know, I, I, I say, I, I, I said this conversation so many times. It's a confidence job, right? A con person, a con man, is someone who is running a confidence job. It's a con. And so self-confidence is a type of, of self-delusion, self-conning yourself. And you've got to keep doing it because it'll fade, right? because it's like a rental. Now, self-esteem is something you own. It's something you build. It's something that you sustain a degree of experience and quality in that it becomes part of who you are. So it becomes an expression of you. And so when we powerfully work at something and build something within ourselves, we own that. We get, we, 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 like like that, that, that old friend of mine who looked at me dead in the eyes and said, I know what I look like, but I could look like that and it won't take me long. He had the esteem to, to be able. He felt he knew he could get himself to that point. Right? Because he had put in the time, quality, effort, understanding that it's taken. And I 100% believe him. I've seen it done, so I get it. And so, um, again, we're referring to external versus internal. The, yes, it's built from within. It's from the internal of the esteem and the confidence is from external. But again, can they cross over? Well, yeah, you know, you need confidence to get to esteem. I got to con myself in the beginning to think I can do something that a part of me doesn't believe I can do. And part of the job of a trainer or a teacher or a coach or a guide is to help the person con themselves that they can do it. And they might even surprise the teacher or the coach when, when they actually do accomplish it. But the point is, I need confidence to begin to build esteem. Right? That's what gets me out of bed in the morning, the confidence to get me, to get me going. So I con myself so I can believe I can do it. I get up in the morning, I push through, I get some evidence that I've, I've, I've accomplished it. I, I continue to push through and little by little I start believing this con job. And inside of it without realizing I'm practicing now. And it's, a, it's a great trick of, 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 a, of a coach or a teacher or a guy to play on their student, to, to con them into practicing daily, knowing that this constant practice will lead to discipline if you can get them to sustain it long enough. Right? Again, once you have the discipline, you own it. It's yours. Easy to regain if you slip at all. It, 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 even if you practice less, you can get right back on it. Right? So... I don't want to belittle confidence, but I want to call it what it is. It's a necessary step to esteem building. You've got to start. A young kid needs to believe they can do something. A young kid needs to believe that he, her, they can actually accomplish this outcome, even though they have zero evidence that they could. And so... That gets them going and heads them in that direction. And then once they get some evidence and some experiences, they start actually believing it, and that's what now leads you towards esteem. So you need confidence. I don't get me wrong. I, you know, I speak of confidence of owning almost a bad thing, but no, it's a rental. Sometimes you need to rent before you can afford to own. 